Give me the next 10 minutes and I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can use to find unique robotics job opportunities, leveraging your background. So we've got this doc document right here. If you'd like a copy of it, you can send me a DM with the word plan on Instagram. Just find me, it's Learn Robotics. And in this video, we're gonna use your action plan to find the right robotics jobs. We're gonna leverage two stealth methods, Google Query and LinkedIn Post Search, so that you can spot opportunities within the industry that you can capitalize on. And these two strategies we're using now in mentorship and they are working like gangbusters. So if you try this out, and let me know in the comments the results because we've been bypassing a lot of the waiting time when you go through a regular job posting on a job board and actually getting to the hiring manager a lot faster using these methods, okay? So unpopular beliefs, you wanna go directly through the company. The closest to the source will speed things up. You can use a website like Crunchbase to understand the company's context and you need to know your skills and where you draw the line. So just knowing what you're good at isn't good enough. You need to know what you're good at and what you're not good at because what's, what you're not good at, you wanna throw away. You wanna only focus on the things that you're good at and things that you're interested in to use this when you're searching for roles. And this is something that we do. We do the action plan in the Hot 25 and mentorship. There should be another video on my channel about action plan. Hot 25 is basically a list of 25 dream roles in robotics. And we're gonna be using this method to build that list and then use that for decision-making later on as we advance our career. So I wanna hop right into this. I don't want this to be super long. The first method is the Google query, all right? So you can basically use a Google query to search across every job board using these different ATS, so uh, applicant tracking systems. A lot of the tech startups, they'll use Lever, they'll use Greenhouse. If you're looking for a large corporation, like Raytheon has their own database. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna query the job board and then a keyword that we're interested in. So I'm gonna show you how this works. Let me go into a new window here. We're going to use the query format site colon, and then the job board URL, and then our keyword from our action plan. So let's go to Google, and we're gonna do site, and I'm just gonna use lever, jobs.lever.co, and then the keyword I'm gonna search is robotics. All right, so now we've got this full query of every company on the, on the lever job board with the word robotics, either in the name or in the job description. And you can start to see all these different opportunities here. So instead of trying to find the company, you're actually using the skill or the topic or the thing that you're interested in to bring you the results of the company. So basically who is hiring for this skill? And then you can go through and start to look at different opportunities. You can see uh, whether or not it's a good fit for you. You can even see like what other jobs they have, where they're located. And this is just a fast way to run a basically web-wide query of roles that have something to do with robotics. You can even be specific too. Like let's say you wanna work at a startup. A lot of times companies in the startup space, they will post their rounds as announcements in the job post. So you could search series B or series A and this will bring up all of the startups that have basically included like series B in their, in their job posting. So right here, you got uh, series B backed growth stage business, um, right here, closed the series B funding round at a $1.5 billion valuation right here, senior software engineer, series B funding at a $1.5 billion valuation, same kind of company right here. So, so that's another little hack that I like to, to share with people is you can, you can search basically whatever queries you want. Um, let's see if there are any series B funded startups with robotics. So I just search series B robotics and you can see right here, we've got right here with a successful series B financing round, blah, blah. And that's basically how you, you would leverage this. Now, what you search is based on you. We like to use action plans to do this. There's another video on my channel here that'll show you how to make your action plan. And then once you have your skill set, you can use that for this query. All right, so here are, the, here are a couple of different job boards, basically any ATS or public job board 
that has a website that's accessible. You can search through. You can also use like company, like uh, corporation job boards like Raytheon, and you can search through that using Google. The second method that I'm gonna share with you right now is the LinkedIn post search. And this one's actually really cool. I was playing with it earlier. Basically what you can do is you can log into LinkedIn and all you need to do is type in in the search hiring and then your keyword. So we'll type in hiring robotics and we can filter by past 24 hours, past week, past month. And we can see who is posting about robotics jobs right here. So now you can see right here, we've got actual people sharing these opportunities, which is super cool. And we've got, so right here, we have 11 open roles right now, software, AI, and here's their, here's their greenhouse link right here. So we probably would have found it in the query, but you can see here's an actual link to a, a company called Collaborative Robotics that is now hiring. So if you're interested in working for them, then you can find their, their website here and see who they're hiring for and submit an application. So this is just another way to kind of cut through the noise. And you know this is a good opportunity because it was posted three days ago. So you don't have to wonder like, okay, are they actually hiring? Did they fill this job? Like this is gonna give you a timestamp here on LinkedIn. So you can kind of look here, right here. So we've got um, hiring robotics. So we've got excellent, exciting opportunity for leveraging a robotics training background. Here's a, a lab opportunity, so technical pre-sales executive. It's gonna show you where it is. Um, right here, we're hiring. Uh, PLCs to robotics, sales engineer and technical sales at Omron. Very cool. Um, this one looks like they're Australia on site. So if you're in Australia, this might be a good opportunity for you. Again, uh, senior electrical mechanical engineer, R&D, Locus Robotics. So now you're, now you're actually getting real opportunities from real people. And the cool part is, is if you if you're interested in this role, you actually have a point of contact now. So you could reach out to this person, introduce yourself and learn a little bit more about what they're looking for, what the opportunity is, what it's like to actually be at their company. Right here, uh, multiple positions, new team, robotics leader. So you can kind of see more about this right here. Uh, this one's looking for a CTO right here. So uh, we're looking to fill many exciting positions. This was posted one week ago. And you can kind of see where are these opportunities. Now this one I'm noticing is a bit more global than doing the, uh, the search on Google, doing the query on Google, but still a really cool way to kind of cut through the noise without using a job board. And the other thing that's really cool is you, you can actually contact, you have a person that you can reach out to, you have a point of contact. So right here, Honeybee Robotics, uh, 13 hours ago. Very cool, so you can go right on here and submit that. And then what I would recommend doing is once you submit it, I would read, reach out to this guy named Dustin and I'd say, yo, I just submitted my application and make sure you tell him yo, because that's super professional. Um, I would reach out and I would just say, look, I, I just applied for XYZ role at your company. I actually found the job through your post. So I just wanted to say hi, you know, and, and, and just put a name, put a face to the name type deal. Uh, and so that's what I would recommend. These are the two methods, the stealth mode methods for getting a really awesome opportunity, finding jobs in robotics. Hopefully this can help you out. If you'd like my specific help getting your career into the robotics industry, working in robotics, automation, and AI in as little as 90 days, then you can check out the link in my description below. There is a full 12 minute bonus video that explains my process, how I work with clients to get them to that next level really fast without needing extra degrees, without going back to school, without taking a bunch of certifications. And so if you'd like my direct help, click on the link in the description below, get that bonus training, and then apply to work with me if it makes sense. And if you're not convinced that I'm a good fit to be your mentor, that's totally okay too. Here are some extra videos that you can check out.